Welcome to this uh, short video on MRP or material requirement planning. So MRP or material requirement planning is the engine of any material planning software. This was the computerized version of MRP I think was created around 1977. So um, and it has revolutionized uh, material planning completely. You know where everything st was previously being done manually and now everything is being done on a computer so how does this work it's a very simple process um, MRP has three inputs the first input is the MPS or the master production schedule we we'll, uh, put the word inputs here so first input is the master production schedule Mm. And the second input is the bill of materials. I am sorry. So the second input is the BOM or the bill of materials. Now master production schedule tells me how many end products do I need to make. So let's suppose um, if I'm making cars here um, and uh, the marketing department comes and tells me that well, you need to make 100 cars. So that 100 cars in, let's say, week 3, that becomes my master production schedule, the end products. Remember, the MPS is about end products, okay? That's necessary. So anyway, so once it tells me 100 cars, I have something called as a bomb, which is bill of materials. Bill of material will tell me what do I need to make that end product. So among other things that one car will need, I know that one needs um, five tires, assuming the spares, and it needs steering wheel and among other things, a host of other things. We'll ignore that. I'm just focused on the tires part at this point. So if the MPS is this the bill of material is a product structure it tells me what are the components of a product this is the bomb okay bill of materials so i combine mps and bomb for my first process i'll call this the processes which is called bomb explosion Now, this is a very simple process. So, if I have MPS as 100 cars, each car needs 5 tires. So, all I need is 500 tires. This is as simple as this. This is the gross requirement is 500 tires. So, this process of finding the gross requirement is also called by this word bomb explosion. The second input is the inventory file. It has data on how much material do we have. So it combines with the bomb explosion to give us our second process, which is called netting. So suppose I need 500 tires. We know that we need 500 tires. But let's suppose we have already 200 in inventory so the net requirement is only 300 tires okay 500 minus 200 equals 300 so that's what our requirement is All right so that's the second process of netting the last process also in inventory file is called offsetting now suppose I need that I need the cars in week 3 this is what this process is telling me I need the cars in week 3 here and um, let's say the car I'm going to plan to start the car in week 2 so if I'm planning to make the car in week 2 uh, and let's say uh, the tires take uh, a week to come after I order so I need to order the tires in week one so, so you know we have like this 
ready cars is week 3 start making car in week 2 Put, let me put week here so I need to order tires in week 1 because the supplier takes a week to supply so if when I start making the car the tires need to be available so um, what we do is we order things according to the lead times and order it so that it comes to our facility or plant at the right time so that's what MRP is all about uh, three, three inputs, MPS, form and inventory file, and the processes have bomb explosion, netting, and offsetting. And it gives us uh, the MRP, sorry, is this? And MRP gives me three very clear answers. One, it tells me what to order. it tells me when to order because I offset and the netting would tell me how much to order so three outputs from MRP what to order when to order and how much to order well that's about it um, for the simple video thank you